Hi guys, so now we have the inner layer and we are going through the lamination process. Does the lamination process is the same for all kinds of PCB? Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you use, FFO, HTZ or other material, you need to have registration and lamination. There is many kinds of registration, pin registration, rivet, gluing, whatever. Here we are in the HDI company and they use both gluing and rivet. Let's have a look. The panels are once again washed to remove the corroded copper surface, as well as potential fingerprints, dry film residues, carbonate and anti-foam residues from dry film stripping. Micro-etching is a basic condition for obtaining a homogeneous and appropriate brown or black oxide treatment. The process will reduce the thickness of the copper from 0.2 to 1 micrometer. Brown or black oxide treatment is used to provide better adhesion for the epoxy resin and to avoid any problems such as delamination. The operator stacks the inner layer and pre-peg on the gluing machine, allowing the stack up to be glued together. Once glued, we move on to using the rivets. The riveting process is there to complete the registration and strengthen the inner layer and the pre-peg together. This strengthens the stack up and ensures that it won't move during the lamination process. At the same time, the copper foil is unrolled and cut. The copper foil is sandwiched between a stainless steel patch and a pre-peg. This stainless steel creates a hard and flat surface. The copper foil completes the stack up. The panel is now composed at the top and the bottom by a copper foil and a pre-peg surrounding the inner layer. The stack up is placed under extreme temperature, depending on the data sheets of the materials. The pressure inside the lamination machine is 180 tons per square meter, and the process will take up to two hours. After being exposed to high pressure and temperature, the layers form a single board, which is then moved to a cold press. Later, the panels will be unmolded. These brand new boards will be prepared with the registration holes using an X-ray machine. They will then be deburred, chamfered, and rounded at the corners. Okay, so it's done for the lamination. What's coming next? Yeah, absolutely. It's done for lamination. And now, whatever multi-layer or double side, the next step will be drilling. Stay tuned. <laughs>